Hey guys, this is Mr. V over here doing a book review today for Watergate, A New History by Garrett M. Graff. This book, Watergate, A New History, is the definitive book on the Watergate scandal and the investigation that followed. So the Watergate scandal, many people knew, was the break-in at the DNC, uh, which happened under the presidency of Richard M. Nixon in the early 1970s. But this book was such a fascinating read as it was just had so much information in there that was just very interesting because Watergate in general, the whole scandal is just a very interesting situation. It's one of those situations that it's always studied. There's been many memoirs written about it, about the people involved in Watergate, but it's always a very interesting book because the uh, there's been many books that have been written about it. There's been many documentaries about it. It's just always, always studied. So that's why it was a very interesting read. And I learned many things when reading this book. And many things I learned were of phenomenal, like mind-blowing interest type of thing, uh, which I'll get into in just a bit. But it was really cool because this book was written about 40 to 50 years after Watergate had happened. So, because it was released in 2021 or 2022. So a lot of things had been released after, which is really good because it was written so long after. Like um, by the time this was released, you know, they had known it, who uh, Deep Throat was. They know how some of the uh, documents got leaked through Deep Throat. They knew why it got leaked. They knew some of the things through different memoirs and they declassified some of the documents, which he was able to go over, different journals were released. So a lot of things of Watergate were exposed many years later. So that's why this was like the definitive book on Watergate. And what was cool about this book was it feels more than like just Watergate because it showed like how Richard Nixon, the president, how he operated, how his whole team kind of operated. Because Watergate itself was actually pretty small. As Watergate, it was a break into the DNC but overall, it was pretty small. It was the lies that followed after and then how they compounded and how the lies continued and then how it got worse and worse. And that's what made it so big. Like a fun fact that I didn't know until reading this book was that Watergate wasn't even mentioned during the election. That it was more investigation and media after Nixon had already won. And that was more than six months after Watergate had happened. So, you know, that was a very interesting thing. Now, as for the book, one of the things you should know before getting into this book is you want to prepare for many names. You can see how thick this book is. This is over 700 pages. You know, it's a great book, but prepare for many names before you start this book. Now, some of the things I liked about the book, one thing that was great was I felt it had a wonderful uh, first chapter. As the first chapter was like an introduction and it kind of said more about like Richard Nixon than about Watergate because a lot happened during Richard Nixon's uh, presidency that is overlooked and uh, there was uh, some scandals but there was also he did a lot of great things during his presidency as well but it's all overlooked because of Watergate whenever you mention Richard Nixon the first thing that pops up to mind Watergate and that's basically the only thing that's known about him but that's why it was a great introduction chapter because um, he, he, he talked briefly about all the things that happened and how they were overlooked because of Watergate. So it was a very, uh, just a great introduction. And then after the introduction, what was great was the author uh, starts with a good background of who Richard Nixon is. Like just a brief background, but he gives a brief background of his political career, his first election, you know, the early problems he faced, like the Pentagon Papers, things like that. And um, I would say he gives a great introduction to many aspects of who Richard Nixon was about like who the plumbers were, his enemies list, how he used the IRS, all these things. He gives a great like overview of that. And he shows how Nixon was shady before he was the president, you know, and he uses like quotes from the tapes that uh, show how shady Nixon was, that it wasn't just like speculation. He shows how shady Nixon was and he shows the methods that Nixon used such as like he would dig up dirt on people and like threaten them in that fashion or how he would use payoffs. Or sometimes if he didn't want his scandal in the news, he would try to publish something else, hoping that would be in the news. And he would make these backroom deals and he showed it in the book. And again, he used different quotes, journal things. He used a different memoir. He used a lot to show it. And they, that's why I have to stress, it was not just speculation. And 
that's why in this book you get to know who Nixon was and how his presidency operated. So it, it was definitely very interesting uh, reading that. But what was also interesting was that in the book, uh, he shows like um, how the FBI operated and many aspects of the FBI because he shows like what happens like uh, J. Edgar Hoover, he was going to be stepping down and he was uh, Hoover was the first one to run the FBI. So at the time, no one else had run the FBI, so they didn't know how it was going to run and they didn't know what was going to happen. And they showed how uh, who Nixon appointed, but also why that made a big impact on Watergate. And then also why or how the documents got leaked about Watergate from the FBI and like what they were doing about it and, you know, what was going on. So he shows all that in the book. And, you know, it was very, very interesting seeing that in the book about Watergate. But it was another interesting aspect was um, he showed all the major players in Watergate. And that's why I said prepare for many names because he showed all the major players and the behind the scenes, which was very informative about how they work together or sometimes how they decided like what they would do. For example, like what happened after people got caught and like they were working together on their stories and like, okay, how would they make sure their stories matched well and what stories would they do? And also like what they would do to cover things up, you know, because what they were doing was illegal and what the media saw and like what, how would they do to cover up? Would they destroy documents? But if they destroyed documents, what would happen? Would there be even bigger like, um, scandals coming out because of it and he, he showed all this stuff and like like how they had discussions about who would be the fall guy and who would be the fall guy for all this stuff and how everyone was pointing fingers at each other and um at one point because of the leaking of documents they were wondering is like hey are we working together or is everyone kind of on their own and protecting themselves so it was very very interesting seeing all that because you got to see the behind the scenes of Nixon, behind the scenes of the FBI, all the major players, the leaking of information, and you got to see all that behind the scenes. And it was also fun was it showed like in the book, it showed what the media knew and what was really going on because you would know what was going on. And then it would show like what the media would release. So that was a lot of fun to be like, you, you could compare it and be like, oh, so this is what the media says was happening, but this is what was really going on. So that was a lot of fun just comparing it and just seeing it. Now, one of the things I did not like about the book was that you had to remember a lot of names and there was not like a glossary of just like to see who everybody was. Some books give you a quick glossary. This one didn't. And you had to remember a lot of names because there were a lot of people involved and there was a lot of information, you know, and he was jumping between names at times. As, again, you can see, this was a big, Watergate was a big sample. Look how much there is here. So you could see, and you had to remember a lot. And a lot goes on, so it was a little tough at times, but overall, you know, it was still pretty good. Was a, but just, I need to reiterate, you need to remember a lot of names. So just prepare for that. Now, his writing style. I thought that this was a very well-written book. Um, it was very easy to read, despite it being complex at times. It was very easy to read. Um, because he kept you engaged and it was entertaining throughout the whole book. I never felt it dragged at all. And that can be tough for a history book, but especially when it's a long history book, the book's over 700 pages and he kept you engaged the whole time and you just wanted to keep reading and see what was going to happen. And overall, it was very well researched. Um, he gives you a lot of information because a lot happened. It shows what happened with the break-in through the investigations, through the FBI and what happened after. It just shows everything and it's very well researched i already said he took journal entries he took media stuff he took the tapes he took everything and just he pieced it all together so well for you that it is very very easy to absorb and you know it's, it's very great in that regards so you know i i really really enjoyed this book you know i thought this was a phenomenal phenomenal book but I want to say that if you want kind of like a brief history on Watergate, like just a, like about the break in and a quick summary of the investigation and what happened, then I would get a different book because this goes much more in depth. Because if, but if you want to truly know Watergate, then get this book. If you want to truly know Watergate, get this book because this goes more than just Watergate. This talks about Watergate, but it goes very in depth about everything about the lies, the communication, the cover-ups, the bribes, the investigations, the tapes, the FBI, what Richard Nixon was doing. It goes in depth about all of it. And that's why this is like the definitive one that if you wanna know Watergate, 
get this book. This was a phenomenal read. But if you guys have any comments, questions, anything like that, you know, please post it in the comment section below. I hope you guys click the subscribe button as I always upload multiple different book reviews. But thank you for watching today. This is Mr. V. Go enjoy reading.